Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Omar, aka Dr. Daher, and today we're going to be talking about why I chose radiology as a specialty. So let's get started. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about why I chose radiology as a subspecialty. So if you're a medical student and you're looking to specialize into something and you have no idea what you're looking into, then I hope this video can maybe shed some light on why I chose radiology and why maybe it could be something suitable for you. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about six reasons why I chose radiology as a subspecialty. The first section is going to be talking about anatomy and why radiology is all about anatomy. The second section for choosing radiology is going to be talking about visual learning. The third section is going to be titled Plain Detective and we'll talk a little bit more about that. The fourth section on why I chose radiology is going to be the broad scope of practice. The fifth section is going to be the impact you can have on a patient's care. And finally, the sixth section on why I chose radiology is going to be the possibility of doing diagnostic versus interventional radiology. All right, so section one is going to be about anatomy. So as you know, radiology is full of anatomy. But within radiology, there's a huge amount of anatomy. And in fact, most of radiology is actually just knowing your anatomy because once you know what's normal, then it's really easy to tell what's abnormal. So anatomy is uh, kind of fundamental to radiology. So then when I did electives in radiology, I realized that, yeah, they really did know their anatomy. And most of the time when they're looking at a scan, they're really just observing normal anatomy. As an anatomy expert in radiology, you're able to see what normal variants are. So a lot of the times when something looks abnormal, someone who isn't used to seeing these variants in anatomy may think that it's actually an abnormality. And as a radiologist, you have a lot of power in telling someone that this is actually just a normal variant. And normal variants are super, super common in the regular human body. The second part of why I chose to do radiology is because of how much of a visual learner I am. So in radiology, there is a whole bunch of pictures and these pictures are anatom anatomical scans of the human body. And obviously you're looking through a whole bunch of pictures to see what's wrong with the patient. And I thought that was really cool and a really neat way to practice medicine. You know, in other specialties like internal medicine, a lot of the times you're talking and dealing with theory um, and physiology, which can be imagined in a visual way, but in reality is very complicated theoretical type of medicine. In radiology, it's quite the opposite. You're actually looking at the pathology in front of you and when you see something abnormal you're able to describe what's abnormal and then figure out what exactly that abnormality might be. It's really cool to see something and trust your eye to say that that's not normal and be able to clue in and say what's wrong with this patient. To me, seeing things visually made things more intuitive because it was kind of hard for me sometimes to memorize a particular, you know, mnemonic of all the things that might cause this medical disease. The next part of why I chose radiology is because you get to play detective. So in radiology, you're given a history of a patient that's sick usually coming from a provider or a physician that doesn't exactly know what's going on. So they'll provide you with a history and ask for your diagnostic help as to what is going on in this patient. So you get to play the detective. You look through a whole bunch of images based on a patient's history and you find an abnormality that might explain their symptoms. In this way, it's kind of like solving the puzzle. Most of the time, there's not an obvious 
striking abnormality that's affecting the patient and you can hang your hat on that it's this that this is causing their symptoms but a lot of the time there's a lot of small little clues here and there to make a probable diagnosis so the next section of why I chose to do radiology is because of the large scope of practice so I alluded to this earlier but as a radiologist, if you're working in the community, some days you might see a CT of the head and an ultrasound of a newborn baby in the same day. Completely unrelated fields of medicine, yet they're being dictated by the same person. You have a large breadth of knowledge and you're able to communicate with both a neurosurgeon because of a subdural hematoma that you found on a CT head. At the same time, you're able to communicate with an OBGYN um, because of a abnormality you saw in a fetal ultrasound. So having that breadth of knowledge and the ability to be a true generalist was something that was really interesting to me. Now don't get me wrong, in radiology you're actually able to subspecialize and pick something that you're really good at. Most radiologists do. In fact, most radiologists these days do a fellowship where they pick a specialty of imaging and they specialize in that. That may include neuroimaging, MSK imaging, interventional radiology, and so many other different fields. All right, so the fifth section on why I chose radiology as a specialty is because of the difference you can make in patient care. So in radiology, when you're on call, for example, you're getting a scan of an undifferentiated patient that comes in with a particular symptom from the emergency department, for example, and the referring physician needs help figuring out what's going on. So you, as the radiologist, are actively looking for an answer. And you play a huge role in how the patient's going to be managed, as well as how they're going to be treated. So it's really, really crucial for a radiologist to figure out what's going on. It could be the difference between having a surgery versus being treated conservatively with medications and close follow-up as a radiologist play a huge role in what specialty service is going to be needed for the patient, in what's a priority for the patient, what might kill a patient right away, what might need to be followed up later on. So that kind of influence and involvement in a patient's care I found to be really, really cool. And then in practice, you're a huge part in the type of management that the patient gets. So for example, in a cancer, the radiologist plays a huge part in how far the cancer has spread and therefore the types of treatment that the patient might be eligible for. So what you describe in your report is super helpful for the surgeon or the oncologist that is managing the patient with whatever treatment, whether it be chemo or surgery or radiation, it all depends on, you know, what you're describing, what organs are involved, how far the spread is. At the same time, I have to say that when you as a radiologist make a contribution to the patient's care, a lot of the time don't get recognized for that contribution. Remember that radiologists give reports to the referring physicians and most of their discussions are with other physicians. We don't tend to give information directly to a patient. We don't directly treat the patient in a lot of cases. So for that, you won't get recognized by the patient for having solved their problem or having diagnosed their disease. And personally, I was okay with that. I knew that what I was doing for the patient indirectly was satisfaction enough for me as a physician. And finally, the sixth reason why I chose radiology was the potential of doing interventional radiology versus diagnostic radiology. 
within interventional radiology, you still have the ability to do procedures and have patient interactions and really take care of patients directly as opposed to indirectly with the diagnostic side. Having interventional radiology as an option, especially in Canadian medical schools, and in Canada, if you wanted to do interventional radiology, you did that as a fellowship. So that was a decision you made pretty much for after residency, so that you were able to make that choice during the residency program. So having the ability to choose both interventional radiology and diagnostic radiology was a huge bonus in picking radiology in general because I knew that if I felt that I was needing more patient interaction and I enjoyed the procedural aspect of things, I could lean towards interventional radiology. And if I didn't and I enjoyed more of the diagnostic differentials uh, or a specific specialty within radiology, then I could pick diagnostic radiology. And at this point, I still haven't made my decision, which is the greatest part of it all, that I'm still able to be open-minded and learn all about the type of radiology there is and still have the ability to choose either or. So those are the reasons why I chose radiology as a specialty. I hope those were helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments section. If you like this video, please subscribe, please hit the like button. It would mean a lot to me in growing my YouTube page. And if you have any other further suggestions, let me know. I'd be really open to new suggestions for videos and things that you might enjoy uh, watching. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Bye now.